spots on the crossroads before us begin the show with our starting point. On February 13, 1923, the first African-American professional basketball team was founded. It was called the Renaissance. Of course, there are other Renaissances that we know of. The European Renaissance of the Middle Ages, the Harlem Renaissance that impacted areas from Sugar Hill in New York City to Sugar Top here in Pittsburgh. I think that now we are at the beginning of a new Renaissance in America. This movement, a black Renaissance, is one where three generations must come together in a vital partnership to combat long-standing issues of economic, educational, and employment inequalities while, at the same time, taking on the community struggles of broken families and neighborhood violence. Over the past few years, a social justice movement has been sparked by a list of black victims harmed or killed by the police. Over the past few decades, there have been efforts to stop the violence that has devastated urban communities for generations. With the flood of young people newly involved in the struggle for justice, the time is now for moments to become a movement. With the emergence of new thought leaders in television, social media, academia, and politics, the time is now for a higher way of thinking and higher goals to obtain. The time is now for a black renaissance in Pittsburgh and throughout America if this region and this nation are to be great in the 21st century. Our fates are just too intertwined for anything less. The educational poverty that exists throughout Pittsburgh and impacts many black students throughout the nation, from kindergarten to college, cannot continue if we are to compete globally against China, India, and others moving forward. Perhaps school choice and improving educational opportunities are game-changing options. The economic poverty that separates the average black household from the average white household by roughly $100,000 must be closed. This won't happen through economic redistribution, but through business innovation, hiring and training efficiencies, and visionary leadership that sees struggling Americans as who they should be, not as the left behind black residents that have always been a day late and a dollar short in Pittsburgh and other towns. A black renaissance is necessary for a truly resurgent America. Black History Month 2015 must be the springboard. It's not how we act, it's not just about how we protest or how we vote or how we overcome. At its core, it's about how we think and how we envision the role of African Americans in the decades ahead. Can the kids in jeopardy today become courageous leaders for our future? Can we close today's discrepancies for a better tomorrow? Do we love America enough to see Americans on the other side of society's worst statistics and end the obstacles that hold them and all of us back from greatness? It is critical to understand that Black History Month is not just about blacks in history. For America's sake, it must be about blacks making history starting this month, especially here in Pittsburgh. Another renaissance, starting in 2015, can propel us past the rhetoric of being America's most livable city into a reality that ensures that the moniker is true for all Pittsburghers. 